with the snow bunnies. I hope we go back there someday. We had such a good time there. Hey, move over. Dolly can't oh. see the pictures. Now I can't see either. Dolly can't see anything anyway. He's a stuffed toy. He doesn't have eyes. He can see. He can see everything. He can see that you're not being nice to him. What? Dandelion's right. Dolly is a member of this family. And if Dandelion says Dolly can see, then Dolly can see. Hmm. This year is because Poppy is too busy. So you better try harder, or else we'll have to replace you with no. someone else. Oh, okay. I'll be much better next time you'll see. Go, Violet! Go, Violet! You're doing great, Perry, but go! We're the best! We're the best! Okay, Dandelion, it's your turn. Grab it! Grab it! Wiggling periwinkle, I can't wrap it properly. Oh. You've got a sprained ankle. You'll have to stay uh -huh. off it for a few days. Uh -huh. There we are. It's wrapped up nice and tight. I'll make some tea to calm you down. Look what you've done, Dandelion. You're off the team. You're still too young to understand how to play. Yeah, you're still a baby. You still need Dolly with you all the time. Why do you still have him? Big kids don't have stuffed toys. Yeah, that's true. If you want to be big, throw Dolly out. Here we are, a nice cup of chamomile tea. You are my favorite petal pickers. Tell me, how did it go? We got ten tons of petals, Ancinia. Ten! The petal drop is gonna be the best this year! That's for sure. The petal festival will be more beautiful than ever. Are the children asleep? Not Dandelion, I'm afraid. Without his good night kiss from his daddy, he can't fall asleep. Daddy! Why aren't you asleep yet? You should be tuckered out from all the sports you did today. The sports didn't make me tired, Daddy. I'm sad because Mistletoe and Violet are mad at me. They said I was a baby and I didn't understand. Sometimes big kids forget they were small ones, too. I promise I'll talk to them tomorrow. Oh, Daddy! Huh? Did you have a special stuffed toy when you were little, too? You bet I did. I had a little brown bunny. I loved him a lot. But when I grew up, I didn't need him anymore. Oh. Go to sleep, sweetheart. It's very late. Night, night. Oh, Dolly, move over. You're taking up too much room. We have to let Dandelion do the relay race? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. You heard what Daddy said. We have to let him race with us and be patient with him because he's so little. Oh, no, we're not babysitters. If he isn't old enough to compete, we don't want him on our team. <gasps> oh, 
Okay, Dolly. I'm not little anymore. I'm big now. So you can't be mine anymore. <laughs> it's time for us to say goodbye. <laughs> Take care of from now on. And Zinnia told me he was very little, so you be nice to him, okay? He'll give you lots of kisses and cuddles, Dolly, so don't worry. Bye. <laughs> from his garden would live oh. to regret it. I'm too tired to hear the rest. Night, everyone. Dandelion, don't forget to brush those little teeth before bed. My teeth aren't little. They're big. And I've already brushed them. Huh? See what I mean? Huh? Dandelion just isn't himself. He's trying to tell us that he's growing up. It's perfectly normal. Say to Dandelion. Huh? Nothing. We taught him the relay race. <laughs> 
You should have seen him. He was great. He runs as fast as a great zucchini ogre. <laughs> really? He's crying his eyes out. He's crying? But why would that be? Maybe he misses Dolly. Think so? Yeah, could be. He's never slept without Dolly before. It must be pretty hard. Ah, he'll get over it. It was about time he got rid of that silly old thing. Silly old thing? Let's talk about silly old things, shall we? What about this one? What's his name? Nairzy? Hairzy? Bearzy. You're not allowed to touch Bearzy. Your drawer is full of silly old things. <laughs> and so is yours, Violet. I noticed that your precious doll, Rosie, is still tucked in your drawer, too. Well, so what? Where's Momo? You still cuddle him. Uh, don't try to change the subject. Dandelion is really sad tonight, and we have to help him. We're going to get Dolly back. How? That's impossible. He told me that he floated him down the river in a soup pot. Dolly must have landed at the duck colony. We've got to go there. To the duck colony? But Pimpernel said they don't like strangers, and... Their beaks are long and pointy. We'll get Dandelion a new stuff toy. Oh, yeah! yeah. Great, Great idea. idea! Dolly is irreplaceable. You guys know that. So tomorrow, the four of us will go and get him. Okay? Hurry up! It's time to go! Stop ordering us around. We'll go when we're ready. I can't go off on a dangerous mission on an empty stomach. Dandelion's still in bed. Something's very wrong. If this continues, I may have to call the doctor. No, he'll be all right. He's just tired, that's all. That's right, Aunt Zinnia. He had an exhausting day yesterday. We're going to pick more flowers for the festival. We'll be back in time for supper. Maybe we should tell Dandelion and he can come with us. Certainly not. We might never find Ollie. So keep your lips sealed. Nope, still can't see anything. No dolly on the horizon. Faster! Come on, guys, speed it up! He's my little brother's 
I'd like to take him home. That stuffed rabbit came here without authorization, and so did you. So get out of here, or I'll call in the Lame Duck Brigade. The, uh, Lame Duck Brigade? Quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack! Lame Duck Brigade scare us away. They say they want to fight. Well, they're about to meet the Bellflower Bunny Warriors. Me, Rebel Chief. You, ready to rescue our prisoner? I'm Moonglow, and I'm ready to go. Head in the clouds, waiting for orders. Uh, I'll stay and guard the teepee. <laughs> 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 The prisoner is ours. <laughs> Check it out, boys. The big ears are getting tough with us. That's right, we are. You web foots are shaking in your boots. Kids get into a mud fight. Sort of. We'll tell you later. But first, we want to see Dandelion. We'll be back in a minute, Ancinia. Oh. Wake up, Dandelion. Time to get up. You can't sleep all day. I'm not feeling well. Leave me alone. All right, then. I guess we won't tell you about our visit to the duck colony. Too bad, because we saw someone who means a lot to you. The duck colony? Did you see Dolly? How is he? What did he say? That he misses you. Uh, Dolly! Oh, he missed you so much. But the duckling that adopted him, wasn't he sad to give him back? Uh, well, uh, a bit at first. But we convinced him to let Dolly go home. Oh, but if I keep Dolly with me, does it mean I won't ever grow big? Dandelion. Dolly won't keep you from growing up. Here's proof. Those are yours? They're yours? Even though you're grown up? Mm -hmm. That means I get to stay with you, Dolly. We'll be together forever. A tribe of warrior bunnies. Now I've heard it all. How about the tribe of ducks that were grounded for a week? Heard of them? Huh. 
Bravo! Mistletoe wins the archery contest. His team and Gremel's team are now tied for first place. The potato sack relay race will determine who's this year's Petal Festival winner. Hooray! You were terrific. This is our last chance. We'll have to be really fast to beat Gremel's team. We'll get first prize. Like we always do. Okay, Dandelion, we're counting on you. Do just like you did the other day when we were practicing. Dandelion, where's Dolly? Oh, I can't race with Dolly in my arms. Besides, racing's for big kids. I left him with Aunt Zinnia. He didn't even cry. <laughs> Hi there, kids. We're rooting for you. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Come on. 